Okay, uh, Darren was able to fix the lens, Not the zoom way. lens. Well, yeah, you did. You fixed it, honey, by by turning off the camera, and it went back in the way it's supposed to. It just glitched out on us. In other words, Sancho Shima, and uh, now he's looking for his smokes, which I hope we can find. Let's look for them together. Uh, this sounds very much like something out of Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Let's look, kids. Let's come on. Let's find this smoke. <laughs> so, what, what was that guy saying to you out there? Honey? You said, did you see Matt over there? I don't know this guy from Adam, and I sure as hell don't know who Matt is. And like, no, I haven't seen anybody over there. I don't know who that guy is. So, I don't know. Weird. Yeah. You can hear me that. Is there a trash bag, hon? Somewhere. Uh, I guess this kind of disarray actually really gets to me. Well, of course. Uh, it's my fault, sweetheart. No, maybe it's not my fault. Uh, well, it is still my fault, sweet. It's just the way Mm -hmm. You're so patient with me. You you tolerate no, everything not from me. Hey, it's just not. It's just, and I and I don't. I don't tolerate anything. Well, no. Occasionally. Very patient sometimes. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be honest sometimes, but for the most part, you naturally are very tolerant. I'm gonna find my hair. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna look. It's probably in the bed, honey. I mean, that would be a really sensible place for it to be, since the bed is very clear. We did it right here. Um, if you come across a trash bag, I'll use it. Oh, uh, this is a trash bag. Thanks. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> come on, honey. As in honey. As in Luna, honey. Maybe I'll put that somewhere besides me. There, I found them. Where were they? Sink. Shit, that was probably my fault, honey. Uh, I think Luna did it. <laughs> Luna, the... Luna said, How dare you, damn it? You know, I didn't do anything with your damn cigarettes. Ouch. Luna, that hurt. Are you alright, honey? What'd you do? Well, oh, that thing up there, but it's fine. Oh, it just kind of, it just kind of like scraped. Mm. Oh well, uh, it could be worse. Yeah, it could. Oh fuck, our salt. Okay. Well, uh, that's not a big deal. No, no biggie. No, don't cry over spilled sea salt, right? Right, I mean, that's more where that came from, right? Somewhere. Wow. Did it get ruined? Yeah, pretty much. It did? whole bloody thing burst over. Well, uh, we can still... Most of it's fine, but, I mean... Oh, God. Uh, oh, shit. What a weird day this has been. That's why I want a cigarette. Some cigarettes. Sure. Like and I want a bath in Calgon. You do? Yes. Me too. Do you remember Calgon? Oh, yeah, of course. How could I forget? I don't know that I ever used it. Yeah, right, I never did either, but uh, it sounds good right now. Calgon, take me away. Uh, okay, well, I don't know what to do with this, but... Um, yeah, we'll put it out of the way <laughs> so we can make some Excuse space. <laughs> this is one of those clips that we'll probably <laughs> laugh at later. <laughs> we can only hope so. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, I'll trade places with these for you. This is weird at first, you know. It's the uh, tire oh, metal no. little frame yeah. thing. Kind of a bit Just a here, bit of honey. oh come on, you get worse alleys than that on a daily mm. basis. But it just like poked me in such a like right on my Yeah, that hurt me. I didn't like that. Well, it makes me sad because of just other things that have been happening recently and it's just like weird. Anyway, you know, everything's connected in life. Yeah. So. 
I don't know what you're thinking. I was just thinking, oh, you know, it's a scary thought in some ways. But what? The everything being connected thing. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing because when we change, everything else changes. That's the beauty of that. But, um. We were somewhere. Do you remember where we were? You well, were talking we were, about. Well, we were talking about how we had a disagreement, which is very rare. Yeah. And the music yeah. disagreement we yeah. worked out. But, well, I was talking about my personality and INFJ. How we make decisions that we think the other people are agreeing with, but they have uh, no agreement with. We just, uh, like, we think that our way is right. So we think you're going to agree with us, right. so we go ahead. And then when the other person goes, wait, I didn't agree to that, then it's like a total fucking shock, man. It's like, what are you talking about? How did, you know, we've been going through this a lot lately in our personal and professional life. And so last night when Darren said, oh, uh, something about the way that he thought that the web series should be presented, and I'm like, no, we're presenting it in a completely opposite way from that. And he's like, no, that's not what I said. I'm like, no, that is what you said, and that's what I said, and we agreed to this. He's like, no, haven't you told me, heard me say that we're presenting it a different way? I'm like, no, that's contrary to what our whole film is. And he's like, no, it's essential to being able to communicate our film. And so we came to, like, to a decision that we didn't really understand what we were going to do next. And that we would talk through it and come to a new decision. It doesn't have to be on this clip. No. And it could be we're making all of this up. <laughs> of course we are, babe. <laughs> I mean, what's the fun in having a normal life where yeah, things just unfold naturally? But uh, we would have to be a pretty fucking radical life to have all this on tape, wouldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. It's un yeah. kind of unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of it, I can understand why, you know, it's viewed as performance. It is performance. Mm. It's also. I can see both sides, that it's performance and it's yeah. not performance. Yeah. And so I think people who argue that probably are tapping into something true. Either side. Which is it? Art or life? <laughs> uh, or memories. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or all three. Or all three. none of the above. Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, so Darren and I have to come to a, an agreement and I don't want to negate your view. I don't want to negate your input. This is your film too. The problem is I have a fundamental difference with you on this. No, you really don't because I've already said I think I can... I don't want to compromise your your approach to things. I don't. It's like uh, yeah, uh, but it's isn't a, it? I don't want it to be my approach to things. I want it to be our approach mm. to things. And yeah, well, we're both it, learning it still from will each be other. Our approach to things, you know. And there are we've already discussed a couple things that are not concessions to me, but uh, avenues for me to explore and enjoy, you know? That's well, I'm that. exploring too. I think what we had going on, in a very general sense, was a tradition, I would define it as a traditionalist or a stylistic perspective, as opposed to a more free-flowing, free verse. Right. Spontaneous perspective. And well, I, yeah, who's right? I, can, I, I mean, can I love your step out. I can step away from that for a second, though, and look at what you're talking about, and say, "Well, do I want to?"
compromise that or wreck it even. And no, I don't. So, well, so remember that time yeah. that we had pictures of your performances and my performances. And you said, do you remember yours were like clips from Ghost Story? And mine were clips from Jody's performance. And, and you, I certainly remember the editing process. And I don't mean clips, I mean stills. Yeah, and yeah. we shared them on Facebook, and we've never shared the actual clips. Right, that's true. Well, you said, well, Jody, I really love your approach. And, and I, I said, do. Yeah. Darren, I really love mm -hmm. your approach. And yours is stylized and formalistic, and mine is more organic. And I don't, maybe we don't have to, maybe we can come up with, and maybe we already have come mm -hmm. up with a compromise on this with the mini. Well, and I don't even feel like it's a compromise. There are certain things that we just agree on that exist in the middle ground, you know. So, I mean, in, in, in carrying those things out, nobody is compromised because God, we, at least honey, we've said we so both sexy. like them. Right? No, your mind is yeah. so beautiful to me. It just turns me on endlessly. <laughs> Everything about you does. But when you talk, sometimes the things you say, as part of the INFJ personality, we're really focused in on relationships with regards to conversation, dialogue, the way we communicate. And you communicate with me in a way that like does it completely in every way for me. I'm glad, baby. I'm very glad. <laughs> I'd like to say I do it on purpose, but I, uh, to some degree I guess maybe I do it on purpose. I don't know. I, it works. <laughs> I was always very conscious of the way I speak, the way I present myself. I, it was important to me, you know. And so, so I, I was like, to a degree, it's kind of like Quit. seeing somebody's handwriting you like and trying to emulate it. Uh huh. But then reaching a point of going, well, I I can't. But in the process, your own handwriting has changed, and you just leave it at that and say okay this is my handwriting now and you love that and it's already been cultivated enough that I don't know it's it's refined and satisfactory and I don't know, but well that's, that's me talking <laughs> and so like, well uh, I like that and uh, and, and the other thing that I've told you before is like when you talk in class, in Liam's class or whatever, I'm on the edge of my seat. I hang on your every word. I'm, I hang on your every word all the time, although they might watch and say, oh, she's always interrupting him. She's always, well, it's because we've talked about that we get inspired to enter this dialogue and it's got its own rhythm. Our rhythm yeah, is our own. Yeah, and that's why I don't... See, I just interrupted you, right? And you would stop sometimes and say, oh, I apologize, I just interrupted you, but it's part of the natural <laughs> rhythm and it doesn't feel like an interruption to me. And, and I'd say nine out of ten times that you said, I apologize, I interrupted you. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> so, well, uh, I think our rhythm as it, the rhythm of our conversation and our mm -hmm. relationship has its own rhythm your rhythm is unique from my rhythm your rhythm is I've said it's a tapestry that you weave you don't I come out and I say up front this is my premise and now I'm going to prove it with uh, with what I have to say you know like my evidence it's kind of like how you're taught to write an essay. At least that's how I teach people to write an essay in my own writing classes, where you have a thesis statement and then you 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 have your um, your topic sentence for each paragraph, and then your topic sentence is backed up by evidence in each. Yeah, I was I was taught that way too. So I thank God for Liam's classes because he allows us to deviate from that completely. Well, you do <laughs> naturally deviate from it. And yeah. if somebody were to turn yeah. in a, an essay written like yours, oh, it wouldn't fly. I mean, 
no, no, no. That's oh. not what I was going to say. Oh, I'm not that okay. stupid, honey. Uh -uh. I would say this is an, a brilliant essay because it breaks all of the rules and it does it in a way that works. Oh, well, thank you. Well, That's a course, huge compliment. Of course, honey. You break all yeah. the rules in your writing and your speaking. And that's why there's no one like you. I think there's no one like me either, in part because I'm a woman. And women tend not to speak that directly. I'm very direct. You tend to pro go with the process. Process. You're process oriented more. And I think together we are. Um, we're both, but I mean, the beauty of the way that you communicate is, well, that each of us communicates is I communicate more like a male and you com communicate more like a female. And it suits us both. It works yeah. for us. And you're more process oriented, but the thing about you is most people will try to interrupt you, try to get, and including me, try to get to that word, that next word that you're about to say. And when I say my word, it's almost always a different word from the word you chose. Because you chose the perfect word for what you're trying to say. I'm translating what you try to say into my language, which may make sense to me, but your words are appropriate for what you're trying to say. And then I should say, oh yeah, that's the right word, and I can translate it into my own language, but still honor what you're saying, honor your words, because they're the prime choice, you know, not to uh -huh. use <laughs> prime rib or whatever, <coughs> <laughs> beef packing kind of terminology, but... I'm so, so often you and I think alike. We've but been, we come at it from different perspectives. Uh, uh, Is that what you were going to say? What we're um, say? Yeah, but I mean, lately we've been like thinking the same thought at the same time. Uh, I so, thought we've always uh, done that and that lately uh, we weren't thinking uh, uh, the same uh, thing. Um, well, wrong? I just mean, uh, lately in very isolated examples of, you know, it's when you jinx somebody because you both said the same thing at the same time. Like, like when we said, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, a couple of nights ago, which was, <laughs> I guess, if we Pretty said, if we accused everybody of going there, come on, everybody saw that coming. But, right. You know, but it's not always like that. Sometimes it's... Right. Not uh, so uh, right. Exactly. Obvious. Yeah. See, there I yeah. am finishing. Your no, son. but that was the right word. So, and that's a good example, all right there. Yeah. <laughs> but see, the way that you communicate has its own rhythm. It's a slower rhythm with a lot of pauses, and so you have me on the edge of my seat, waiting, waiting, <laughs> and sometimes I can't wait, and I have to interject, and sometimes uh, I'm the, I'm right, and at other times you follow up with your own uh, word. And so, you know, it's unfair of me to assert my rhythm and my definition into your conversation, into your rhythm. And, and I'm different, you know, I guess. And, and I don't mean, I guess I'm different. We know that I'm different. That's what we're saying here. But what I'm saying is part of this realization process for me that's like a really deep, deep kind of, well, I'll use the word issue for our relationship, is that Darren is different from Jody, and Jody is different from Darren, and yet we're the same. Now, I'm saying, and yet we're the same, and you're saying, but we're different. I, I almost look probably violent when I'm saying that, because it's so hard for me to accept that we're different. I don't know why. It's logical. It's like been that way in every relationship I've ever had except for with my daughter like I've said with my daughter we were so in sync that I would wake up in the morning and I would open my eyes and my baby daughter would be laying in bed with me and she would open her eyes at the exact same time that's how you and I relate we are so intuitive with one another that we relate on that level it's deeper than words it's deeper than thoughts it's deep you know it's so deep it's more like a a river flowing, like we were saying, this undercurrent, mm, the yeah. undercurrent, the Ogallala River, uh, the Ogallala Underground Lake. That's what we have between us. And baby, that's my. Oh wait, is this one mine? Honey? Yeah, sorry, I switched. Sorry about I switched that. Them. 
So here I am saying we're so in sync, and yet I don't even remember that you told me that we have these, that you move the drinks. Well, normally it would be like me not to <laughs> and take yours, <laughs> or to switch them and then take yours. <laughs> Whichever one is fuller. That's one. <laughs> You're uh, smart that way. Uh, <laughs> um, so these differences uh, in our collaborate, collaborative ideas is bringing out the differences between us that kind of like really affect our relationship. You know, they really bring out a lot of disconcerting stuff for me. Like, yeah, I'm, I don't, I, I don't mean to always be like calling attention to differences between us because I do think at the end of the day that we're way more alike than we are different than one another, you know. Um, well, why is it so damn important to me, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't remember it being that important to me with other mm -hmm. relationships. It's very important to me. I feel like you're my twin, and it's hard for me when I realize that, oh, wait, I just assumed that he was going to... Right, and I, I really do the same thing with you. You, know, you uh, do, too? Yeah. You make assumptions yeah. that yeah, I'm uh, that's, on the same that's page as you? Yeah, that's how I make mistakes, you know? I make mistakes. Um, well, I guess in that sense it's a good thing, huh? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's a, a bad thing. You know, you know, I think it is a compliment to our relationship that sometimes we assume that the other one understands us when they don't. Right. Because yeah. we really believe the, under, the other one understands right. us so well. Right, and you know, there's nothing about our relationship that I want to take for granted. Especially not our relationship itself. I really don't want to do that. I don't know. You, you don't. You don't let me get very far with doing that, and that's probably good. <laughs> well, because I see the end result of that, and I'm not willing to go there. I'm not willing to risk you losing you at all. You know, not that I haven't made mistakes and tried to push you completely out of my life on repeated occasions. By the way, you're sitting on a uh, the lighter than lighter. I was looking for. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, what a day. It's been uh, a fucking hell of a day, am I? Uh, well, it was a hell of a night, too. Yeah, it was a hell of a day yesterday, honey. Yeah, it kind of seems like it's all been a whole started hell of a like 48 long. hours ago. <laughs> or <laughs> longer, yeah, God. Uh, uh, when we were in Hyde Park, we were killing ourselves to start a fire. To eat, you know, we're down to the very basics. I called the insurance company because my baby made me. He forced <laughs> me to. I suggested it. I said, you know what you should do. <laughs> and I knew it was the right <laughs> thing. And I'm like complaining the whole time. They're not going to know my account number. I'm not going to be able to talk to a person. And then I, I asked them what Darren asked me to ask them. Will you work with me on my <laughs> bill? And they said, yeah, and they worked it yeah. out. I'm like, I didn't even know you would do that. And not, she's like, oh, yeah. Not exactly the way we hoped they would work it out, but better but than, uh, than not working it out at all, certainly. So We really do want to be legal, but why does being legal mean having to spend money, having a certain amount of money? Why, why is it illegal? Why is it a crime? to be poor in our country, you know? Mm. Why is it a crime not to have enough money to pay for a tag or uh, insurance or, okay, why can't we arrange it to where people who don't have the money to do that, if they're, let's say, on welfare or disability, disability. like yeah. I am, yeah. then why can't there be other accommodations made for these things, you know? like? okay, you're on disability, you only have to pay $10 for your tags, or whatever, a sliding scale fee. Um, instead, it's the same for me as the people up in Las Campanas who live in multi-million dollar houses to pay for their tags. Of course, they found multiple cars, but we do too now, because yeah. one of them's our house. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But we have a plan. What's our plan, baby? Pretty soon, Dobby and Luna are each going to be outfitted with their own nifty orange vest, and they're officially going to be the wonderful helper animals that they always have been. They're uh, going to be college students. Yeah, they're going to come to class with us, and nobody can say anything. It'll be hilarious. That's what we're looking mm -hmm. toward, you know? Uh, it's going to cost some money, hon. Yeah. But uh, we can do it. Yeah. It's going to be cheaper to do that than... Uh, and not cheaper, but it's going to be less, I'm sure, less of a headache to do that than anything else. Yeah, it will help keep us self-contained and independent, you know. It's like... And be able to take care of each other. Yeah. So. And plus, <laughs> we need a little more interesting... Um, kind of like we'll be our own little entourage, eccentric entourage walking down the hall. Oh man. <laughs> My dogs are not going to be well behaved. They're not going to suddenly like be different dogs. Right. I don't care what kind of training they make you go through. My dogs are still going to be, <laughs> Luna's still going to be cursing like a sailor and Dobby's going to be jumping all over the place so we're, uh, I'll be out, you know, in a lot of ways I'll be able to deal with that but they're not going to suddenly change their personality. Oh, honey, we need to cover that up. Those bugs are coming near. Yeah, our we're getting home. invaded by flies now. They came out after the rain, so. Well, and the gnats. Uh, gnats, flies. Here we go. I'm going to cover that up. We're always under siege. With something. Mm -hmm. External, internal. Oh my gosh, something. <sighs> and I'm tired. I'm tired too, and I will. Have and to I start the van, and we have to clean this mess up. Yeah, mess. I think we should go ahead and do that, yeah. so we can keep our food preserved and, and our sanity preserved. Uh, it, it's, it's too late. Not for too that. late. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. Uh, so, what do you think on that note? On <laughs> that note, I I mm. think what we've come to the conclusion of is we love each other and we want this to work and we're going to make it work. Yeah. And we're, we're both happy with it. Yeah, that's what we do. That's yeah. what we do. Okay. Uh, thank you for joining us. <laughs>